領域展開。無料空所。Well, no, not physical damage, but the evaded. Oh, this is the way out. Okay. Well, I'm not gonna glide that soon, though. Let's go. I call upon royal power within. Great job, Stroll. Yeah, he ain't gonna do nothing. Just trying to avoid having too many things pop up on me. That we just came from. That we came from this way. Okay, let me get that. Minor boots. All right. Come along. This adventure is far from over, fellas. And fairies. Not good. I saw enough. I was blocked. I don't like this. I'm not gonna feel so strong as before. Seven to four. A uh, human. I know what that means. We gotta go one at a time. Oh, you got a new ability. That's what I'm talking about. Is that what you needed, too, bro? You need something like that. That level up was clutch. That level up, that level up was clutch. Was that a hit? Oh. Oh, so it was one hit. And I got some iron gauntlets. Things are looking up. I thought this is the way to go through further into the cave or something. I'm tripping like I don't have a map or something I can't use to get to. Wait, 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 go back over? I didn't even see that a while ago. There's something over here. Out of the way. I got my items through here. Think I'm finna just leave them sitting there for you guys to be sitting on? I don't think so. Run, guys, run! That enemy is strong. Let's not fight that any type of way. If 
But now we are avoiding sandworms. Sandworms are literally just gonna be the death of us. Somebody has a mining uniform? Who has that equipped? I thought somebody had it equipped. I'd be like, bro, who has that equipped? I get you the those uh, head on for the miner. Get you the miner boots. There you go. Now what to do? What to do? What to do? What can I look at my um? No, not this. Skills. Yeah. I can't upgrade them right now, huh? I think that's what it is. I was trying to figure out way, like how to upgrade. Avoid that at all costs. That creature is something we cannot fight against. We've been spotted. We get up out of here though before we get can't get in the situation we can't get out of. Yeah, sandworms is built different. And I refuse to keep fighting sandworms. Oh they snug me, I ain't see it over there. Not see that. Why oh, they get so many attacks? God damn. Wind. Three left. No what is this? Increase physical attack and it'll tell you the same percentage. you no more. Even though we took some heavy hits though. Barely. What now? Barely overcame that. I'm not gonna sit here and deny it. And not to mention I'm burning to all my heels. Where is this where we just I think that's where we just came from. A uh, sandworm? No, I don't think so. <laughs> oh, is it dead end? No. I refuse to get caught up by that sandworm. Yeah. Let me cook. Alright. 
Let me get the church chest. Please let it be something good. Like, is this something that could do something about our health? That's all I need for MP. That'll work for now. Yeah, I see. I think that might be our way out. But I'm afraid that your damn is seeing my unless there's no exception. Indeed. Yeah, I need a boss thing like a lot of things. So I got a lot hey. of things I need to buy. This ride of mine is close to the air. This for example, it's not like steam or smoke. It does seem like you, not much you can sleep, sleep in this room. Hmm. All right. We seem to loathe the approach, so well, let's catch our breath while we can. All right. Should I go to Academia? Mm. Let's make a record. Why am I here though? Let's go. Hey, let's go. I remember playing, and this is actually a lot longer demo than I thought it was gonna be, honestly guys. Not against it though. Let's stash that somewhere safe. <laughs> Alright. I do remember this though. Pardon? Yeah, I mean, obviously, I looked through the shortcut, felt it safe, considering you a lot took this way as well. I'm foolish, it seems foolish in hindsight, but something, something bad, I don't know how, up ahead, my mom wears the thing back, you ain't coming this way, I'll take it out. If there's anything you need, it'll be there, set off. Alright, so, since you're selling all sorts of goodies, I need all that. Anything to sell. Clear design, no monetary value. <laughs> Consider selling it. Good to know. Now then. Now then. Scrap metal. Actually, no. Something tells me not to sell the scrap metal. I don't know why. I can, I can just sell everything. So I can't use this material for anything. Draw by human consider something. All right, I ain't gonna say everything right now. I don't know if I can't use that for like materials in the future or something. All right. For ice damage? How many of these I have? Scrap metal? All right, add three. Sell three of them. All right, the more the better. Oh, snap. I need not come buy weapons. You know, you selling weapons, bro. All right, change of plans then. <laughs> change of plans. Fuck it. If I have, I need money. Oh, no, I see weapons. You're not gonna have that, guys. I'll just get the materials again later. What's this? No, that's not sad. It says it's uh, bouncy bar. Bar stretch when you pull it. Consider selling it. And drop by human. Consider selling it. How much money I got? I have 1,000? Sweet. A bronze machete. Bastard sword. Okay, these are all weapons for all of them. Okay. Bone vest. And pilgrim cloak. Minor gloves. Y'all yeah, understand, boy. Whipping like this is gonna go crazy.
Hey, right, hello. No. What now? No, well, let me see what he got, bro. He got a soldier sword, right? Let me get that. Well, can I not just get my soldier sword to someone else? Oh, nah, I can't even upgrade that, huh? There's a lot of things I'll buy. Technically, now I think about it, he's using the staff now, right? And is that because I made, I gave him the, um, I forgot what you even call these things. Uh, what is it called? I forgot they call them seekers. No, not seekers. God damn it, I can't. Was it, is it metaphor, right? Is that what they call them in this game? I think. We're gonna call it metaphor right now, right? Or oh, metaphor. Hey, I just noticed the background's like moving. It's really dope. Alright. Wait, wait. I just noticed something. We are lacking. Yeah, I just realized that we're lacking when it comes to that. I don't know if I want it. It says consider selling it. That doesn't mean I have to sell it. So I don't know if this can be like used for something. I don't know if it can be used as material. As I say, these are key items, right? Alright. I'm just wondering though, like, can I not like... Oh yeah, I forgot about that. What do you guys got for like charms? Noble Chris. I mean, do um do these accessories even do anything? Oh, okay, never mind. They do this one. Let me get you some for the endurance. Oh yeah, Galica. No, I get you some later, Galica. Don't worry, don't worry. Now, what do I want to give you, Noble Chris, Traveler's Charm? I ain't really knows I can give him. Another thing I kind of just thought about in my head is the fact that this dude probably is better off using a sword now that I think about it. <laughs> it's probably much better off using a sword. But I don't see that dude nowhere near me, so I guess we just have to deal with this for now. Alright, wait. What now? This did fat there. Everyone self no, I think I'll do all that. I'll recover for everyone. How's it go? Wait a second. I mean, yeah. You don't see all the dark smoke coming out from underneath the door, Galica? It's on the way through. All right. I made all my preparations. Onwards to battle. This is a strange crystal and even stranger monster in front of me. What is that? I never seen anything like it. Seen anything like it. Hey, I just thought about something. What if humans are just like human beings coming from another world but just bought to their world and they end up looking like that? I wonder if that's just the case. What is that? I never seen anything like it. It's a crystal. Raw Magla. This feels now I remember. They say in the lands beyond mortal reach, great spires of crystal stand. And anyone who might touch them is driven mad. That's all just superstition, though, right? Still, this thing is giving off a really nasty aura. That's no ordinary monster. Some kind of human? The way it's moving, it's almost like it's protecting the crystal. Here it comes. I know what the fuck that was supposed to be. Grizz, you're up, buddy. Something tells me you're gonna be the one to get the magic. I will do fire, but let's try a blizzard. Hey. I know, right? The ice weak to it. Can't take the ice. See how you feel on wind magic. How you resisting that? He's hyper. Front row is being targeted. Oh snap. <laughs> you bad Grius. Yeah, you do that. You distance yourself. Any means necessary. 
can't afford to hold back. Guard. I played another persona to notice. I can take it. No. It's me. Please. In the name of justice. Alright. Yeah, son, tell me you got the way. Alright. Yeah. Now, what's the plan? Closing the distance. Gloria! I'll cut you down. Let's stay calm. Alright. I'll get somebody stronger, though. Let me help. Alright, let's go. Now what is he doing? Tad defense. What the fuck is that? Oh shit. Ooh. Alright. <laughs> Wait, is it Grace the one that's held low? Nah, Grace is good, bro. Like, I'm not gonna take advantage of your weakness, you Hold on, moving to the rear. You think I'm not gonna take advantage of it? This calls for one of these. Thanks. I'm to the rear guard. You're not gonna catch me off guard anymore. My thanks. This mage fades. In the name, no holding back. Yeah. Ooh. Mm. Good thing I got back. Alright. I'm key in. I'm key in. That helped. It's okay. We can do this. I won't hold back. Who should I heal, though? Might need to heal Grius a bit. We can do this. I owe you. Oh, they heal a lot, goddamn. I see. Got that front row targeted. Yeah, I'm gonna keep hitting him with that shit. I don't know what y'all thought of him. <laughs> I don't know if y'all think I'm not finna hit him with that shit. I'm definitely finna hit him with that. Like, our health right now looks terrible. Matter of fact, you focus on healing yourself right now. This should work. I would hit you a wind match, but I don't think it's gonna really do much, honestly. I'd rather just increase him. But then again, I don't know if this count. I don't know if that's gonna do much for like. <laughs> I just thought about it. I'm boosting his attack, so wouldn't it be like for physical attacks instead of just magical attacks? You know, fuck it, whatever. Uh, I cook his ass regardless. I can slash. Yeah, you're done. You're done, buddy. You're absolutely fucking done. Yeah, I want I want to get you nice and good. Can you not use this yet? You still can't use it. Oh, it's passive. It's always on. Ah, shit. Ch took him out when I had a goddamn chance. There we go. Hello. Nah, you just pick bro up. This calls for one of these. Nah, we need to use some items, man. Oh shit, that burnt the most of my items already. What the fuck? That was fast as shit. This'll do it. Helpful as ever. We got the fuck back. Ooh. Chris. You gotta hold on, buddy. Let's go. You gotta hold on, buddy. 
No holding back. Time to go offensive. Are you dead? What the fuck? Call upon the royal power within. Hack and slash. There we go. Fuck, that was close. Let me put a lot of goddamn damage on me. Hey, yeah, one thousand dollars. All right, it's totally worth it. Yeah, that's pretty terrible, honestly. <laughs> one of us died. I had to use a revive, and I bring through most of my medical supplies. I admit, it feels good to get stronger. What is this crystal? By my guess, the monsters were drawn to its aura. We shouldn't leave something so sinister just lying around. Questions and answers, but there's no time to ponder them. We better move. You got be serious, bro. We're not gonna be able to move in this state. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. What now? Look terrible. All right, so I had to keep burning through my watch colors. All right, that's good enough for now. All right, let's keep going in. We gotta get about this cave. This cave is getting insane. I don't need a squad battle. I don't need to do all that. Really? Let's see what. What are we hiding from? That's... So you, so you, so you're telling me right now we can't even fight. God damn it! All right, everybody, just keep a low profile. I see them. A little sweaty. I see them. Just wait for him to turn his back. Go. Wait, what's on this other side? Anything over here? Nah, that's not worth it. Fuck. I'm not looking at a dragon. I'm not fighting a dragon, guys. I don't know what you got thoughts. I'm not fighting a fucking dragon. I'm playing on hard difficulty too. The fuck? <laughs> you imagine what the fuck that level is gonna be on that dragon? It's be insane. Might come back later and fight it some shit when I'm stronger, but nah. I already know I'm gonna die. <laughs> I almost died to that human. What do you think's gonna happen to me with the dragon? We'll probably get one shot at off rip. The worst is to happen. But thankfully, we live to see another day. We're lucky this time they had a thing woken with me in a different situation. If anyone truly intends to kill the beast, we need to have a, a gauntlet runner. 
But now that we're slowly making our, our, our turn to Grand Trade, that much easier. You may wish for uh, the moon. Only most prominent nobles had the means to secure a running for themselves. You can move on. He's still done if the dragon works out. Yeah, you got a good point about that. Let's get up out of here. We got no crispy weapons now. Yeah. Look. I mean, yeah. Like, can I cut things? Oh, I'm just supposed to run. All right, I got you. Hey, what happens if I run into one? Can I jump over it? Oh man, this slows me down. Never mind. I'm even cool if I jumped over it. I was like, double oh seven. He's a runner. He's a track star. years off my life damn storm can't afford too many delays but we'll not be getting far in this torrent we can make camp tonight and slip onto a carriage to the capital tomorrow once we're out of the wastes we'll have to if we want to make it in time public carriage seems a bit risky doesn't it not with all the outsiders flocking in for the funeral will be three faces among hundreds. Lovely. Another carriage ride. Hopefully this one's smoother than the last couple. Let's just get our camp set up. Somewhere dry, preferably. Ah, oh, this is so cozy. I feel alive again. It's certainly better than freezing. Reminds me of when I was a child. Back then, I wouldn't have been caught dead out in the wilderness like this. Countryside nobility like us had no fortune to speak of. My parents bowed and smiled for their money, and honestly, I despised them for it. Back then, I thought being a noble was about... I don't know... a life of prestige, being respected. But one spring seven years ago, our town was attacked by this horrific creature. A human, though I had no idea at the time. I was evacuated alongside the servants while the rest of the town burned. I waited for my parents to join us in the shelter. But they would never come. The parents I'd so despised had stayed behind to protect the villagers who couldn't flee. <sighs> Sorry if I dredged up painful memories for you too. But what happened gave me purpose. It changed everything. It taught me who my parents really were, what it really meant to be a noble. But our town's just rubble now, a footnote in history. The human that destroyed us is all we'll ever be known for. <sighs> I remember my father petitioning the capital for aid, but no reply came. Even knowing how much of a threat the humans were. Now, I think, what if the army well, Luis, what if he's the one who abandoned us? If we were just a pawn in his game, then... then I will make him pay. <sighs> hey, Grius, we all trust each other now, don't we? I think we can tell him. Aye, maybe you're right. I'll admit the lad's sword put me in mind of the past. 
Something special about that sword? Well, we used it to identify the messenger from our faction. But it originally belonged to his highness. A kingly gift from his father. To better suit his highness and his keen aptitude for magic, that blade was specially forged, with raw magla folded into the metal. Of course, when Swordplay bored him, he'd amuse himself by levitating it or standing atop it to glide about. <laughs> A royal rascal, that one. Those days were all too short. Then, twelve years, it all came crashing down. I've heard. The prince was attacked, right? There was a plot on his life. One I wish I'd written out sooner. Just like tonight, it was pouring rain. Your Highness, this way! Ah! to the palace! <laughs> Highness! What is this? His Highness survived the attack, but... The curse hanging over him was powerful and complex. Of all the mage healers in the capital, not one could wake him. And he grew weaker with each passing day. We might lift the curse if we knew the specifics of its formula, but Luis would never give that up. Which leaves but one way. To dispel the curse, its caster must die. And you're sure Luis is the man you seek? I saw him in the fray. He was younger then. Younger even than you are now, and shorter besides. I could never mistake him. And now, after spilling the royal blood of father and son both, the people call him not traitor, but savior. For his highness, for the king, and for the very future of this country, he must be dealt with. To kill Luis is to see justice served. I see. So as he did with the Prince, he would make of my city a stepping stone to further heights. A tool to spread the infamy of the humans. You haven't told that story to many, have you? Thank you for trusting me with it. A rogue never forgets a debt. Even if it takes three generations, we'd see it repaid. But neither 
do we forget a grudge? And Luis will know that soon enough. So, that's what all this is about. Say, friend, this mission means a lot to you too, doesn't it? Yes, of course it does. You've been carrying a greater weight than I realized. In any case, I owe you my life. And we've both got something we'd fight to protect. Let's save this country. Together. Uh, ideally, once we're out of this cold, of course. I think it's about time we eat. We're almost to the capital, after all. I'd say that's worth celebrating. I'm beat. Oh, so that's definitely the same old girl that we saw in the beginning that was on the um, carriage, right? With the long red hair. That's definitely got to be her. So she was part of the Royal Guard as well. So I'm surprised then. Why she won't with Grius? I guess they got split apart at some point. Or she I got fired because... Or she left because what happened to the prince. Alright, well, it's a lot more things I would say. <laughs> a lot more questions I have. A lot of thought the security went a lot more tighter. And around just the prince himself, he only had one guard, veteran guard, protecting him, and everyone else was just kind of like, I guess everybody was in on it. They just wanted the prince and the king gone, you know. I guess. Entourage decided to take his highness out to the secret and appropriate hiding place. He was attacking the royal palace, the places where he was. We say we knew, we knew not when he was tired to be attacked and ran tried. His highness was considered missing. Eventually, he's dealt with the official from that time on. He's actually was to restore his highness to power. I'm sure those who resent us were vanishing from the palace without a word. Even the royal guard who protected his highness were kept in the dark and they known. They would have had no choice but to stop us. Even if they had accompanied us or let us go, they would have been guilty of treason and terrible fate for young knights who have so much ahead of them. And Gris got a lot on his plate, man. I thought I joined the army and worked my way up the ranks the traditional way. Never thought they'd turn out like this. I didn't expect to run into humans and dragons nor bestow with the extraordinary power. Well, was this path I always headed for, or was it all thanks to you? Well, I'm not complaining either way. Once he put off the assassination and the prince returns to power, I think our country will be on a better path. I'll get my revenge at least, no matter what it takes. Though I must admit, all this camping is taking a toll on me. A delicious meal would be nice, but once we're in grand trial. Well, grand trial. You're kidding. Hey, you and trial agree to break into this power. Heard that mysterious voice again when it happened. I wonder who what it was. I'm exhausted, that Magla was unusually dense, and now it's already dark. I hope I can see a beautiful clear sky tomorrow. We still have a long way to go to Grand Try. You should get some sleep for tomorrow too. Alright, well you're right, let's get some sleep. Even though I don't know where the fuck I'm supposed to be sleeping at. Alright. I fell asleep. Well, then it's just as I thought. While you're asleep, our connection is much stronger. You wield your magic with ever more confidence. Splendid. As I mentioned previously, the archetype grows and develops anew through encounters with others. Look for those bearing the nobility and presence of the heroes and kings of old. More virtuous than the weight of any crown or medal is the burden you place on your own path forward. The more comrades and supporters who stand beside you, the more your power will deepen as you soar to new heights. One day, if the people join hands and seize the freedom to decide their own future with their own power just as you do, that is my ideal world. Hold on. What do you mean, supporters? We're trying to keep out of the public eye here. I mentioned before, did I not? There is no hero without allies. Only a single voice in opposition. In other words, even archetypes have their own strengths and weaknesses. They'll be of little use if used thoughtlessly. 
Life and death are seconds apart on the battlefield. Be attentive, mindful, and strategic. Only then can you emerge victorious. When you feel unsure how to proceed, I recommend you stop, assess your surroundings, and think. The smallest observation is often our greatest inspiration. Well, it's almost dawn. I will be watching with great anticipation. Until we meet again. The royal funeral draws ever closer. Four days remain. Hmm. Let's go. Great. Let's move out. Escaping the dragon's threat in the Nord Mines, the party shakes their pursuers amidst the discovery of great powers. To make up for lost time, they risk hiring a coach to secret them the rest of the way to the capital. funeral draws ever closer. Two days remain. Finally, we found a ride. Looks like we should make it in time for the funeral after all. Last time we rode in a public carriage, it was hit by bandits. A pack of Louise zealots, too, if I remember. Talk about a nasty surprise. You've come a ways since then. Any bandits who set on us now are in for a nasty surprise. Reminds me of the road to the fort. Sitting there in the cart. Never could have imagined you and I would be the only survivors. Strange. How fast life can change. It'll only get tougher from here on out. Oh, I wasn't really complaining. I know what I signed up for. The last couple days have certainly been eventful. It almost feels like everything we thought we knew about the world was wrong. Well, plenty of people live their lives without taking a single step outside their city. But we haven't the luxury of ignorance, I suppose. We're almost to the capital. Quiet now. And stay sharp. Milady, welcome back, and thank you for making the trip. After so long, I am only surprised anyone remained here who yet remembered me. Surely you jest, milady. Pay me no mind. I heard of the king's death. The skyline is full of unfamiliar figures. Tis a testament to how long I've been away. It's the guard that's changed the most. It's just chaos and politics there, arguing over matters of succession. Feels like we've lost sight of who we're even protecting. Not to mention talk of monsters at the border. We've nowhere near enough soldiers to deal with them on top of everything else. After tomorrow, the city will calm. Once the formality of the funeral is passed, a new king will be crowned. After which, I suppose there'll be no further need of a search party. Not many even remember we were searching in the first place. The royal funeral draws ever closer. One day remains. Escaping the Nord Mines, the party hailed a horse-drawn coach and returns now to Grand Trad, capital of Ukronia, the day before the royal funeral. As they gaze upon the city, Flags of mourning fluttering in the wind. The magnitude of their mission exacts its toll on the heart.
The fog's rolling in. Rain's the last thing we need. Can this funeral withstand more misfortune? I've heard they don't have enough soldiers to keep the peace. Now it'll be fine. All the aristocrats are bringing their own personal guards. I imagine boredom's the worst we need to worry about. Let's not draw attention to ourselves. There's a hostelry tucked at the back of Sunshade Row, the Hushed Honeybee Inn. We'll talk details once we're there. Here we go. I see bro really just like kind of dipped out, huh? That's terribly unfair. All right then. So I guess we need to go out to Grizz. For that though. Where 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 where? Oh man, the atmosphere here is really different now. Everything was so lively before. Wonder what the logging grass bench is like. Can't wait to actually get some rest for once. That's terribly unfair. Who keeps saying that? That's terribly unfair. That's terribly unfair. Stop! They're with me, accumulator. That goes for dope for anyone. No for one of your tribe. What do you think you're playing at? Yeah, all this happened. That's terribly unfair. Let's see what everyone else has to say. Same with the old school. Talking about earlier too. Shady said, what do you think about that place? Yeah. Oh, great. Everybody's still on some hating shit, huh? Hating because you can't get like me. <laughs> you ain't never seen somebody with two different color eyes. <laughs> but no matter though, because stunting is a habit, because I put it in the air. So, when you're kind of I'm seeing you're not for these parts. Tell me, do you have my side of scene? <laughs> Try not to see there in the match. For example, when you stay on your guard of city, and his eyes can be somewhat unwelcoming towards the people of your tribe. Well, thanks for the warning. Whatever hey. will I do? Ah, man. I was going to see if old girl was going to say something to us. All right, fine. Everyone else is just hating and just That's doing the same old lame shit. But let's see what some of these people back here got to say. Just can't stand it. Until a few years ago, Gauntlet were just used to park here in this car on prong carriage parking there. Looking at them I don't know. I want that look forward to it, but nowadays it's abandoned or something. I don't even know what Gauntlet runners are, honestly. Kinda curious about that. That's terribly unfair. Alright, let's go just down. The royal capital. Look, I don't give a toss who's king. I just want some coin. Mm. Got it. I mean, we really ain't got to ask around to be honest. We literally got a map. Everybody under here just looks real shady. Hmm? Oh, what you got in here? I can't even go in these places. What y'all got over here? Got a moment? Fine, fine. I guess I can't really take too many detours. <laughs> Execution B. I can't. Um. Okay. Well, I think we should uh, start addressing some of these people with mental state around here. Do you need something? Oh, it's so bad for us there. And you know, well, you go to your own and stop you. You know, they're really right by the side of the gallows. The right side of the gallows, go down there. Go down that way, and then there'll be some stairs at the end of the way. The cursed landlord told my told him my mother comes tomorrow, and he still springs all this work on me. Hey. Fancy a ride. Where? There's one that's finding a kind of hard in this country. That's right. More precise, the other gallows there. The people hanging there are good, virtuous people. Truth in their faces, judgment. No matter of crimes, well, about from the capital, are you brains? You to Cisco City. Hmm. Yeah. 
Don't worry about what business I got there. Just know I'm here to handle business. You need to worry about too much. What's on this way? Oh, things are not looking good. I thought it was gonna be like a shop back here. Oh, there's something up here. I can't go to it though. I can't even pull out my sword. All right, never mind. Then this just take me over this way. Idiot. Come on. Didn't do anything wrong. Yeah, I don't even want to hear all that yapping, complaining, crying. Street looks pretty rough. Man, we gotta worry about everybody over here just discriminating left and right against me, so you can bet the wall see you is an easy mark. Pickpockets. Somebody else better not be nobody pickpocking me. I'm gonna tell you right now, it's gonna be up. Somebody pickpocking me. It's gonna be a real murder spree going on down here, you better know. Oi, easy. Hmm. Sons are coming in, uh, you prince, but like, I want privacy to say, we all been through that ring. Yeah, now you pickpocket, so you know. Oh. Hit all the soldiers that the four got annihilated, but not you. I see you stumbling. About that. Hey, don't you wear nearly all the sunshade row, and you're dead. None of us here will go run out of my house now. I mean, we may have agree. Is this the place? Oh, it is. Alright. Well, you guys have a wonderful night. This place. Got it. You're back. Papa! Welcome home! Papa? Oh, well, I mean, it makes sense, but you got him a baddie. I ain't gonna lie, Grease, boy. I see you, boy. You got game, boy. <laughs> I see you, boy. You got game. Got you a real baddie. Well, hello, my Maria. I trust you've been staying out of trouble. These are, well, new recruits. Just enlisted. So young. It's good to meet you. I'm Fabian. This inn is my business and my home. Manners, Maria. Um, welcome. Hey, I'm wasting away over here. Where's my order? Maria, could you handle that? Yes, right away. You're back sooner than I thought. Something happened. Something bad. Barely any survivors. I see. I didn't know Grius had a daughter. I said the same thing, bro. I know I've already asked so much of you, but would you mind looking after Maria a little while longer? Oh, I was mistaken. I thought that was your wife, bro. I'm not gonna hold you. I honestly thought it was like his wife. Uh, I know she was just looking at them, but hey, that means she's up for the taking. I'm just saying, like, you feel me? Well, we get done, you know, assassinating, bro, and getting that all done, you know, setting everything right. We should chop it up sometime. Of course, it wouldn't be the honeybee without her. Now, as for the rest of you, after braving the frontiers with this curmudgeon, I'm sure you would welcome a warm supper. Once we're done, we'll head upstairs. It's so good. Mm. Oh, 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 spicy. I can't feel my tongue. Oh, pipe down and eat, boy. That was delicious, especially the meat. I wasn't expecting it to have such a kick, but it grows on you fast. 
red grass roasted beedle. Bird meat. One of her hometown specialities. <sighs> She's risked a lot to shelter me and to help the resistance. I owe her more than I can say. You said we were short-handed, but are we really the only ones? I know we've plenty of independent agents fighting in their own ways, but it seems none could avail themselves to us. Which means we're the only ones who can do this. Still killing Luis. That's not going to be an easy feat. Grius, do you have a plan? Fill us in. Midway through the funeral. In broad daylight. That's insane. It's risky, to be sure. But we'll never find a better chance at confronting the man directly. Don't worry. I'll be the only one getting close to him. Now, I might not be the brightest person in the room, I'm just saying. But I'll just throw out a little idea, alright? So, boom. Instead of trying to kill him in broad daylight, when there's a bunch of like thousands of soldiers probably armed and guard ready, and not to mention he's a capable and intelligent person himself, why not try to get him when you think his guard is going to be the least up? Now, a person like Luis, before I understand how he's described, he seems like the type of person who probably keeps his guard up a lot. So I'm just saying, like, maybe we should just wait till like a moment he's giving a speech or, you know, he's you know getting crowned as king or something like that you know i think those moments would be the moments where you feel like everybody will least expect it you know and you can just get that slide of assassination in that'd be the perfect moment perfect i'll need you to draw Luis's attention from a different location all i need is an opening and don't rely on your fancy powers for this all right it'll attract too much attention Killing a man and slaying a beast are two very different things. This is all I need. You're joking. You and that kitchen knife against an archmage. Isn't there anything we can do to help? No, you'll just get in the way. Besides, this kitchen knife can slit his throat like the swine he is. A fast kill. If not a clean one. All right, so I get the plan, I get the whole idea, but what if the only off chance he doesn't show up though, or what if he like just comes to like a video message or holograms or shit? Then what? It's nothing I've not done before. Give me my opening, and the man's dead. I really don't know about this. Stop fussing. Leave it to me. One last thing. Keep Maria company a while, would you? The girl gets lonely on her own. Aren't you at least going to tuck her in? You've got to prepare tonight. Too much still needs doing. And best that it's done as far from her as possible. And there's his fatherly side, I suppose. Sorry, but I'm going to bed early. I need a full night's rest if I don't want to be a liability. Well, we've all been short on time to ourselves. But I'd feel bad leaving Marie all alone. Shall we go check in on her? At least? Look at that. Hey. Nothing, nothing but hard. Oh, I can't grab cancer. I'm looking forward to sleeping tonight. All right, bro. You do your thing, bro. I'm go out here and see what's going on, bro. This sounds like a really bad and really stupid fucking plan, but you know what? <laughs> We're just gonna go with it. All right, we're gonna go with the flow. <laughs>